हेलो फ्रेंड्स लास्ट फिफ्टी डेज वी आर जस्ट लॉक्ट अप एट होम जस्ट यूजलेस देर इज नो वर्क एवरी टाइम आई वॉच टी वी वॉच आउटसाइड यू सी देर आर सो मच क्राइसिस बींग एज ए क्वालिफाइड पर्सन हैविंग लिटिल बिट अर्निंग्स वी आर मैनेजिंग द शो but in this particular corona pandemic situation if you really see the poor people they are the most affected people because they do not have work they do not have job and they do not have money and if you see the majority of indian people are falling under that category the days are very suffocating last few days i was thinking to express my views and concern and i have expressed my views and concern in many ways i was thinking that what is going on the human being are facing so much problem they are not able to get twice food not twice a single meal and we talk about millionaire billionaire the richest people the billionaires living in this country we are happy to know that there are so many economists so many nobel laureates so many intellectuals i have not found the rage issue pertaining to very fundamental things our constitution has given enough things to speak about but theoretically those things are there but if you see in implementation part is very much restricted and limited i was just thinking that we have passed out a simple law that land reformation act what was the objective of land reformation act if you really go back when we got freedom in 1947 before that there is a zamindar system right Jamindar system what is jamindar system you know it's a typical bourgeois system individual captured so much land and after independence and 1972 that land reformation acts clearly mention about there should be proper distribution of land it, it should be given to the common people after having certain ceiling limit and all states are supposed to follow and implement land reformation acts but interestingly today we have 29 states seven union territories plus how many years 1972 to 2020 right it is close to 48 years how many states they have implemented land reformation act only bengal and kerala and few other state they have made an attempt now imagine a situation if all lands are captured by few set of people and common people the poor people they are not having land at all how do they survive what is the fundamentals of 
our economy it is agriculture and industry now because of corona pandemic what is happening no industry are functioning it is stopped and it is also run by the private people they told thank you very much once lockdown is over we are going to invite you for job because we are not going to pay you the industry story was over the other story is the government sector the hospitals government jobs academic institute who are into government teaching or any other scientific research profession everything the government jobs are how much it is 1.5 to 2 percent of the total population think a situation they can survive the people who run the industry they can survive but who are working under those industry they are deprived because they do not have much more financial access they do not have the liquid money cash they do not have the buying capabilities now the question is until or unless we make a very systematic thing we don't implement land reformation act and give lands to the poorest of the poor at least few katha not big land as again we know that almost 15% of the total gdp is coming through agriculture even and 60% people are involved in agriculture rest 40% involved in industry and other sectors the 40% story was over because of this pandemic situation whatever stocks they have they have managing it contrary industry and agriculture it should go hand in hand it is not that way you can only operate industry that is not going to give you sustainable revenue people should survive only one thing is there the agriculture is there from the agricultural field if agricultural crops and other things are coming so basic fundamental thing is you need to provide roti kapda mokan roti kapda mokan three things are coming from the agriculture if out of 29 state only two state have implemented land reformation act the rest state are hold by few in individuals they have hundreds of acres land it is not cultivated and i don't like to get into the debate of this thing why this is not implemented but it's a high time to think rationally how this land reformation act can be implemented strongly otherwise there will be major cascade effect in future people will die on starvation because of no access to food as i have told you out of 16% gdp from agriculture only the poor people they work in the agricultural field they get only the daily wages they do not have claim on the crop products now out of 16% how much really benefits that going to the poor people it's a big question no economist no scientific data or no agriculture data is going to justify or tell that whole 18% gdp is directly translated to the indian economy that's a theoretically that's a good thing but the real benefit the real fruits are not reaching to the common people the poor people so shunar india government is trying to address those issues i personally believe that this so much crisis if people are having access to 
roti kapda mokan three things they are able to generate at their own from their agriculture land 70% india's problem will be resolved and we need to again scientifically see our agricultural land how it can be utilized in better way at least we can give lease to the small farmers poor people who are interested to get into agricultural crops train them in a small way how to do agriculture provide them seeds fertilizer and water and i strongly believe india is living in small villages not in cities is we are supplementing one each other why the poor people they are coming on cities because they do not have work in agricultural field they do not have the land that is the most important thing i am amazed to see lot of videos in news channel people are struggling to have food twice they are walking down on road more than 500000 kilometers and trying to reach their native place destination because they feel whatever small land they have at least once they reach their destination they might be able to extract something from the agricultural field so hunger this word is a very dangerous word so we should not play with this word and showing sympathy we should be very very realistic and government should take whatever precautions are required when law is in place obviously government can guide them that let us implement this land reformation act because i personally believe in socio economic theory we talk on very surface but you need to get into very deeper of this problem the causes and concern associated this problem for implementation i have seen many economists is trying to tell that give them money as an incentive that is a fine but this is a very short time thing it is not going to resolve the problem i would rather suggest better give them food give them whatever basic things to lead their life but ultimate thing if it has to be sustainable one need to get into the deeper problem because of this inequality of distribution of our natural resources so once again thank you very much for listening this video my purpose is not to talk against the government it is just to have whatever fundamental rights given in constitution and whatever fundamental principle or whatever fundamentals what i say whatever act is passed in parliament in 1972 it is for the people so big as a indian citizen i just raise my concern hope it percolates down the line thank you so much for hearing this video i wish better days will come better thoughts will prevail thank you thank you so much